am Anil Kumar. We are discussing a test paper on vectors, points, lines and planes. Let us discuss point of intersection now between lines and planes. Here is question number 6. It says, find the points of intersection for each situation. In part A, we are given equation of two lines. You can pause the video, copy it. Part B, we have determined the point of intersection between a line and a plane. And in part C, we have determined the point of intersection of three planes. So you can pause the video, copy these questions, and one by one, look into my suggestions and solutions. Here is the first one, right, which says, determine the point of intersection between two given lines. Now, let us see how to solve this particular question. Of course, the first step is, for both the lines, we could write it as x equals to what and then equate the values. So we have x equals to 3 plus 4t, right? From the first line, 3 plus 4t. And then we have y equals to 3 minus t. And z equals to, z is equals to 3 minus t. Okay. For the second equation, what we get here is, x is equal to minus 8 plus s. y is equals to minus 4 plus 3s. And z is equals to 2 plus s. Now the idea is to find the value of s in two, t using two equations. First question always is which two equations to select. Now here these two are the best options. Do you see that? 3 minus t, 3 minus t. They can cancel out and help you solve the equation very fast. So we'll use these two equations. So we are equating the value of y first. So we could equate from both and say 3 minus t is equals to minus 4 plus 3s. And from the second one, we have 3 minus t, that is for z, right? Equals to 2 plus s. 2 plus s. Now, if I subtract these equations, look at it. So if I subtract these equations, right? So I give equation, let us say, you can always number them 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then 7, 8. But anyway, what I'll do is let us subtract them. So if I subtract them, what do I get? 3 minus 3, t minus t is 0, so we eliminate t altogether, right? And here, if I do, I get minus 6, and 3 minus 1 is 2, plus 2s. From here, we can solve for s, which is 6 equals to 2s, or s is equals to 6 divided by 2, which is 3. Do you see that? So we found the value of s. So it was kind of simpler simple observations sometimes help you save time and in a test paper like this which is pretty lengthy if you save some minutes like this uh, you can complete the paper with ease now we'll substitute this value of s in our second equation that is simpler right so that is the choice this time i'm not numbering my equations but in the test you should number right here i'm trying to explain and show you what is my thinking so this is what I'm thinking. You just substitute s as 3 here. So once I do that, I get 3 minus s, 3 minus t, sorry, equals to 2 plus 3, 2 plus 3. So I get the value of t from this equation. We say 3 minus t equals to 5, and 3 minus 5 equals to t, or t equals to minus 2. Okay, so using uh, the equations for y and z, we got the value for s and t. Now, if that point really satisfies our equation, in that case, substituting this point in the original equation for both of them should give us the same value. Otherwise, that is not a solution. You understand, right? So let us substitute t as minus 2 here and calculate. So what we have here is 3 plus 4 times minus 2, 4 times minus 2 is minus 8, right? 
So 3 minus 8 is minus 5. So we are substituting t equals to minus 2 and then calculating, right? So I'll just calculate and write down my value within this column. So minus 2 means minus 8. 3 minus 8 is minus 5. Minus 2 makes it plus 2, so we get 5. Minus 2 makes it plus 2, we get it 5, right? So we check this values there. Now, let us also check the values for the second line. Do we get the same point? It is very important to check, right? S is 3. S equals to 3. If I substitute 3 here, minus 8 plus 3 is minus 5. 3 times 3 is 9. So minus 4 plus 9 is indeed 5. And 3 plus 2 is also 5. So we did get the same point of intersection and we say that our answer is that the point of intersection for us is minus 5, 5, 5. So that is the point of intersection, correct? So that is how you should be solving these types of questions, simple steps. And I hope you appreciate some observations help you always to save time in a test paper. And these questions are selected on purpose. The students who will do this observation will save a minute and thereby will get better marks. I hope so. Thank you and all the best.